The purpose of American military support is to enable Ukraine to defend itself and achieve victory over Russia. This is a quote from the U.S. House of Representatives' bill on assistance to Ukraine. Congressmen approved it on April the 20th and thereby, after a seven-month delay, brought the decision to the finish line. This bipartisan legislation will allow the department to search life-saving security assistance to help Ukraine defend itself from Russia's aggression, support Israel's defense from Iran and its proxies, and increase the flow of urgently needed humanitarian aid to suffering Palestinian civilians in Gaza. This legislation is also an important investment in America's future. Lloyd Austin, United States Secretary of Defense, from a message on the U.S. Department of Defense website. All the $95 billion package, about $8 billion, will go towards helping U.S. allies in the Indo-Pacific region and countering China, about $26 billion to support Israel and the residents of Gaza, and almost $61 billion for Ukraine. It is a very significant package that will be felt by both our soldiers and the front line and our cities and villages that suffer from Russian terror, thanks to each and everyone who supported this package. This is a solution to protect lives. Without a doubt, we will use American support to strengthen both our peoples and bring a just end to this war, a war that Putin must lose. The vote in the U.S. House of Representatives was welcomed by the NATO Secretary General. According to Jens Stoltenberg, this assistance is necessary not only for Ukraine, but also for the United States and Europe. Ukraine is using the weapons provided by NATO allies to destroy Russian combat capabilities. This makes us all safer in Europe and North America. Jens Stoltenberg, Secretary General of NATO, on X social network. President of the European Council Charles Michel called the decision of the lower house of the U.S. Congress a clear signal to the Kremlin. The bill was also welcomed by the leaders of all the European Union institutions. I welcome the vote of the U.S. House of Representatives approving the long overdue crucial USD 60 billion aid package to Ukraine. This sends a clear message to the Kremlin. Those who believe in freedom and UN Charter will continue to support Ukraine and its people. Charles Michel, President of the European Council on X Social Network. Ukraine deserves all the support it can get against Russia. Transatlantic allies are united in support for freedom and democracy. Ursula von der Leyen, President of the European Commission on X Social Network. Ukraine will have the transatlantic support it needs to stand up to Russian aggression. Josep Borrell, High Representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy on X Social Network. The only way forward for peace is helping the Ukrainian people defend themselves. We stand united for freedom against aggression. Roberta Metsola, President of the European Parliament on X Social Network. European leaders urged allies to continue to increase production of weapons and ammunition. The EU now has to increase our own production of armaments, ammunition and supplies to aid Ukraine on a long-term basis. Tobias Bilstrom, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Sweden, on X social network. The U.S. decision to help Ukraine will take effect after President Joe Biden signs the package of bills, but before that the Senate will vote for it. This will happen on April the 23rd, said Chuck Schumer, leader of the Democratic majority in the upper house of the Congress. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Valeria Nekipelova, UATV News.